This is my 2004 Ford Ranger. It can haul up to four bikes comfortably and fit up to five people uncomfortably without being very big at all. In fact, you can kind of just walk away with it. The only problem is that between maintenance, repairs, and gas, this truck is a money pit. So in this video, I'm testing to what extent this truck can be replaced by a custom electric bike. Yeah. I'm starting this build with a Fukari Libra because it's relatively inexpensive and it should be robust enough for this project. For sure. The Fukari is assembled and looks even better than I expected. I love the fat tires, the dual suspension, robust frame design, and especially this extended padded rear seat. I think you could fit two people on there. Before we start chopping this bike up, let's see how it runs out of the box. Damn, that is a nice display. I like just starting in the highest mode. Let's see how this rides. So this is Fukari's entry level e-bike option. What drew me to Fukari was their frame design. I love how robust it looks. So I reached out to them about this project and they were happy to sponsor the bike. Street legal, pedal assist e-bike. A lot of these bikes are very similar, but I think Fukari stands out mostly for its frame design. My only complaint would be the fact that it has a derailleur. So we'll probably take that off when we're upgrading it. Unless you're doing some test like I am trying to replace a truck with an e-bike, I don't think this needs to be upgraded as a commuter bike. It's really got everything you need and at a competitive price. I also love the extended padded seat for passengers. So I am gonna keep that when we chop this bike up. So the Fukari Libra is a great urban commuter option. I really do like it, but it's not gonna replace my truck. In order to compete with this three liter V6, we're gonna need more power. And in order to put that power to work, we're gonna need a hitch. So this is not a plug and play build. It's gonna require some serious custom work, which is why I've partnered with Domo at Supervolt. So here's the plan. We're gonna fabricate a steel swing arm, something kind of just like this, but we're gonna go the extra mile and we're gonna make it a trike with two go-kart wheels in the back and two hitches, a square and a ball mount. We're gonna have the entire powertrain right here with the rear brake. It looks so cool, we couldn't wait. So we kinda just went ahead and did it. Look at this, let's throw it on. It looks amazing. We threw on the custom steel swing arm with two go-kart wheels and that's for more traction and stability. We've got two hitches for action and ability and we've got two horns for added visibility. We've got a hydraulic brake for stopping. I ran out of rhymes. Most of the powertrain is on the swing arm. We went with a mid-drive motor for the torque and we geared it super low for extra towing power. The motor and controller are actually from the Arctic Leopard. It should be plenty powerful. My 72 volt Chai battery fits perfectly where the stock battery used to be. We just needed to add a bracket. And it's all controlled by a full twist throttle with three power levels. This build looks so good because we took advantage of the Fukari Libra design. The battery fits exactly where it's intended and we get to take advantage of the stock rear suspension without adding any cargo or towing weight to it. The extended passenger seat in this part of the frame complements the swing arm beautifully. It's proportional. I have not ridden it yet, so let's see how it does. All right, we got Domo on the mobility scooter. Let's see if he can keep up. Let's see if I can keep up with the mobility scooter. That thing's a beast. Look at that suspension. Mode one, moment of truth. I'm not expecting it to turn very well. Oh, we're turning. It's so cool because it feels like I'm standing, like this is standing, this is sitting. Let's do a brake test before we go any faster. Nice. Three, two, one, mode two. Whoa. Whoa. Could not keep the front wheel down. Mode three. Whoa. Okay, good top speed. This is a good manageable top speed. Any more than this, I would not want to go faster. You seeing this? You seeing this? <laughs> Okay, you can do pretty tight turns. I'm just staying on one wheel here. I mean, on two. Wait, we forgot the most important test though. That sounds as cool as it looks. It looks like an exhaust.
this is perfect such a good seating position i'm basically standing like this is standing this is sitting it's got a good amount of suspension we've got a ton of stability a ton of traction and a ton of power we've just been doing e-bike let's do some truck shit. let's get this out of the way I need a bike to test mount, and I think I left one just over here. There we go. Never too far from a Saron. Okay, I think I'm starting to realize why nobody's done this before. We got the hitch dragging on the ground and the front wheel's in the air. So I'm hoping that when I sit down, the hitch comes up and the front wheel comes down. If it doesn't, I don't know how this is gonna work. Let's go. I seriously wasn't expecting that to work. Okay, I'm just gonna back up, Let's see what we can do. You're kidding. <sighs> There's no way this is working. It feels amazing. Ooh, the turning is not happy about this at all. It cannot turn at all, but it can definitely haul. Mode three, let's see what it could do. It's like a wheelie machine. <laughs> no turning at all. This is a good way. Okay, that's not too hard to turn. You just have to get off. Mode three, launch. Let's see what we can get. Whoa. Oh, I don't know what just happened. It didn't feel safe though. Here we go, let's try one more time. Okay, I think it's safe to say that the bike truck, the bike, the trike, the trike, that's such a good name. The trike works with the Saron, but let's see if it works with a bigger bike. I think I have one around here. I might've left it around the corner. Here we go. Should always have one of these laying around just in case. Let's see how the electric YZ85 does on here. Because of the way this rack's designed, the bike really has to be towards the left, which is why it's all lopsided. I wish I could center it. I'm expecting this to work since it works so well with the Suron. <laughs> That's how you turn. This is crazy. So I'd say this works as well. Let's make sure the horns are still working. This is a truck as far as I'm concerned. So rewatching that footage, I definitely should have had that bike strapped in more. What I do know is that this bike has a ton of low end power. So tomorrow I'm gonna put that to the test. But first, what is a truck if it can't off road? So somehow three of the four bolts fell out, but we've got this spare, the original one, and a razor axle <laughs> holding the motor in right now. We're working with what we got. Hopefully we can do a hill climb before the sun's down. Okay, so we've taken a perfectly good Fukari Libra and turned it into a truck bike. It can haul bigger bikes than itself with ease and grace. It can overcome even the most demanding off-road conditions. But to truly see if an e-bike can replace my truck, we have to see if it can pull one of these. This is a 1,000 pound five by eight cargo trailer. And I can't help but wonder if the truck bike can tow it. So without further ado, let's do something stupid. Okay, we got a thousand pound cargo carrier on the back of this bike. I'm pretty confident it's gonna be able to tow it. The question becomes, is it gonna be able to brake and turn? So let's see, mode one. <laughs> no way. And we can slow down. Okay, let's see if we can turn, let's see if we can turn. 
There's no way I'm turning this easily. This is totally working better than I was expecting. All right, we're going to mode three. Oh God, no way. Wow. Wow, and it, it does stop. Whoa, 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 you gotta be going straight. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, that should have been way worse than it actually was. I definitely busted my shin though. All right, here we go. Mode three, pull, full throttle from nothing. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Wow! <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> okay. I think that was too light. Let's try pulling my 3,000 pound truck. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That actually hurt. Oh, tweak my wrist doing that. So the question at the beginning of this video was, to what extent can an e-bike replace a truck? And I think the answer is, to an extent. It can haul, tow, and do cool shit just like a truck. So as always, thank you so much for watching. As they do. Yeah.